Welcome to Historical. I'm Jason, joined as always with, with Michael and David. Yes, we are with him. Uh-huh. <laughs> and we here at Historical, we take a funny look at history sometimes. You've heard it. I've said it. <laughs> but because this is a two-parter, so you should listen to the first part. This is part two, the War of the Roses. Isn't that right, Jason? Correct. And where we left off last week was with you know, Richard of York. You know how pissed off of, of Eng, an Englishman would be knowing that you said part de. Yeah. I wasn't going to comment on the War French. of the Roses. As but. we're in the middle of the Hundred Years War. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Get Sorry. with the program. Well, we, we're not on England's side here in I, historical. We've established that. Yeah, they're better than the French. Well, do we, esta- two did we establish the side we were on in the, the conflict? Not Whoa. French. Well, obviously not French. Have Lancaster and York. Oh, I never took sides. York. I've always been a York man. I'm a York man. <laughs> Jason's a York man. I'm a York peppermint patty man. I'm a, I'm a He's York a Yorker. Man. <laughs> Yorkman. Jason Yorkman. They had the, the legitimate claim. I'm so sorry. why do you? Oh, so you just because you, you're like they had the legit claim. Yes. So that's why you're yes. Yorkman. Absolutely. Yorkman at the end of the day. <laughs> Absolutely. I root for Team Chaos. <laughs> just like I root for in sports. <laughs> I mean, I, I if they had the rightful claim, then I'll be on their team. So, Michael, you're Team Lancaster because oh, wait, has no, to be. this is not this is not our somebody other has to be. <laughs> All right. Go well, they took the throne through the by the sword, so that's I guess they got that going for them. Who the Lancasters? Yeah. Oh, cool. See, my people are cool. See, weren't you paying attention last week? <laughs> Maybe <laughs> a Lancaster always pays his debts. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Sorry, had to do it to him. Free Hong Kong. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> Still, I think Still, back then yes. it was free at this point go <laughs> let's but start the story we left off with richard of york having championed over the lancasters at the battle of saint albans oh, and capturing yeah. henry yep henry Taking, henry who af- soon after the battle had another mental fit and uh <laughs> lost cognizance this guy <laughs> <laughs> so when richard brought him back to Get it together london he reclaimed the protectorate of the realm uh, but quickly returned it after Henry sort of got it back a couple months later in February of 14. He, he got 56. He, he regained cognizance. Yes. It was a it was a short spell. The last one lasted 14 months. <laughs> My God. I'm getting to better. Be this guy. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I'm cognizant. This is an emotional roller coaster. Oh, God. <laughs> so Richard being protector of the realm. Uh, oh, and then first hand or first guy to the king, pretty much, because he's just surrounding himself with his allies in London. The king was just like, all right, I guess this is just how it's going to be. Um, I'm OK with the Yorks pretty much running everything <laughs> and resigned himself to the fact that the Yorks were going to have power over British uh, politics. So he just... He'd just give up. Yeah. Didn't even try. He folded like a lawn chair. So Richard gave some of his friends, uh, one the Duke of Salisbury, and the, the other Duke of Warwick. Nice. I like uh, that pronunciation. Warwick. Gave them uh, <laughs> positions of I power. I like the way you say that, boy. Warwick. Warwick. Boy. Because he's uh, got the Warwick. Nick- Nicknamed the <laughs> Kingmaker for his War noble actions at St. Albans. His charge led to the capture of Henry. A noble charge. So as his uh, York's power was being solidified in Britain or in London, uh, the Scots up north, they were seeing all this happening in Britain, all of them, the infighting, and they're like, yeah, now would probably be a good time to attack. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we're running out of haggis. <laughs> so Richard went north to deal with any Scottish incursions into mm. Britain. Great ban. But while he was away, Henry's <laughs> wife, Margaret of Anjou, started uh, getting a little power behind the throne there. Margaret. Uh-oh. 
started uh, getting her clutches into Henry. Clutches. Move the her court clutches. from London to Coventry <laughs> without Richard of York knowing. And most huh. of his allies didn't really approve it either because Gasp. it was moving moving the the court towards more Lancaster based lands uh. in near Wales to the east of Everyone the British Isles. In Wales. They're wailing. <laughs> and so he just was just pecking away at uh, Richard's power while he was away. It's eroding. <laughs> like an angry chicken pecking away <laughs> at the house. Eventually it'll fall. <laughs> <laughs> But King Henry felt that the two factions needed to come together so Britain wasn't torn apart. That's what the Beatles song is based on. But all of his uh, opportunities for reconciliation culminated in 1458 with Love Day. (laughs) Love Day? Love Day. That's creative. Where he had... Everyone from both sides come to London around St. Paul's Cathedral and, make sweet, and just walk sweet around love. holding hands. Oh. <laughs> made, <laughs> it's like, made sweet, sweet. <laughs> Barry White. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> the concert. It's like, here's your robe. Now you must declothe. <laughs> it's love day. But really, all it did was just make a public display of the feud. Like, it put it in front of people's eyes. Like, most of it was just behind closed doors. And, you know, uh, battlefield, you know, happening. Few battles. Have you know, been love happening. is a battlefield. Love day is a battlefield. <laughs> <laughs> love day. So, like, were they still holding hands with the people they didn't like? Yeah, it was. Uh, very Margaret, begrudgingly. <laughs> Margaret and Richard actually were the York and Lannister, or Lannister, Lancaster that were. Uh, Holding hands. You think it was like mm. fingers laced holding hands or like the cup? <laughs> I hope it was like. Oh, yeah. Or like dainty. as we're describing here on this audio medium, when you like put your hand up. <laughs> somebody Ever told. so such. Yeah. Like a proper Englishman. Like or when like the guy's holding their hands. Dance. Yeah. Like, yeah. Right. You're about to go ballroom dance. It's love day after all. <laughs> at least it's not. It's a love day ball. At least it's not life day. Like from the Star Wars Christmas special. <laughs> <laughs> yup, nub. But the war for the galaxy <laughs> of the roses. <laughs> the, his <laughs> attempts were for naught because a couple months later in 1459, uh, while an okay year, Richard York was away. Margaret of Anjou called another great council to discuss some goings on Margaret and Richard didn't join because he was like, well, they're just obviously going to talk about me and I'm not going to be there for them to arrest me. <laughs> so I'm just going to hang back with my buds. Drink some ale. Be Love day never stops here. <laughs> More wine. <laughs> Richard flees to Ireland where he was governor and still had some friends over there. So we just sort of skadoodled over there while his buddy Warwick uh, and some of his brothers Warwick. started fighting uh, Lancaster men around London, and they ended Boy. up capturing Henry again. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> so after stop capturing me, holding him captive for a while, Richard eventually comes back from Ireland, comes to London, and is like, "Hey, I just want to be the sole heir." To the crown. Your, just want your my kids, kids don't back. count anymore. Cut cut his kids out of the uh, the thing the that line. we wrote. The law. <laughs> succession. Yeah, the line of succession. Kill them. <laughs> we won't have to deal with the law. <laughs> Kill them. <laughs> and Henry had no... He, he didn't have any other option other than to concede. So Richard became sole heir and the Prince of Wales because that's Goes with being the heir apparent, apparently. The Prince of Wales made a great album in the 80s. But in 1460, <laughs> uh, Richard of York went north to deal with a, a few Lancaster rebels that were still fucking around up there. And while at a castle, the Sandal Castle, I do believe it's called. We're real relaxed here at the Sandal Castle. <laughs> he was holed up there 
and he saw some Lancaster men approaching the castle, but he was going to stay inside because he was fortified. But then they <laughs> sent a like, it's a good castle should be. quote unquote deserters that started feeding the York the Yorks false information. And then two other armies waving York flags came down. So Richard was like, "Cool, we'll just surround them and get them." But the Lancasters had flown York colors. So when he came out, they just surrounded him and he died. <laughs> the end. Died in battle. That's what you get for wearing sandals and a full suit of armor. Aim for the feet. <laughs> well, they pulled one over on him. <laughs> yeah. Sounds like. Trickery <laughs> was afoot. Hmm. No one uh, would have that flag but, but for your orc. Quite the jest, if I say so myself. Quite the trick. I just slapped my knee. Richard, at the end, there was probably like, oh, good one, lads. Uh, how about we go get a beer <laughs> and celebrate your good prank? I can make heck. Love uh, Day happen fuck again. You. <laughs> Stab. <laughs> Ow. Come on, lads. <laughs> Stop Dude, stabbing me. Stop poking me. Ow. And so after Richard died, his eldest, Edward, became the heir to the York claim to the throne. Okay. Yeah, I gotta keep all this shit straight, because it's, it's messy. Now, it's messy because Henry and Margaret's kid is also named Edward. <laughs> but one Edward's about to be king, so that'll... Clear that up. Yeah, that'll clean it up here soon. So in 1461, you have the Battle of Towton, where Henry's forces and Edward's forces meet up. Henry's forces have the high ground. So they're, they're looking good. They got bowmen. They're looking good. But there's a bunch of snow falling down. So visibility's low. And the wind is blowing in their face. Yeah, the ground was too high. <laughs> 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 there's, like, there's a difference between high ground and the top of the mountain. <laughs> and the wind was blowing in their face. So as they were firing arrows at the <laughs> Yorks, they were falling short. And as the Yorks were firing arrows at the Lancasters, they were being carried by the wind <laughs> to hit them. Get least, fucked! <laughs> yeah, at least, like, the first arrows weren't, like, just completely doing, like, 180s and flying straight back. <laughs> actually, those There's, first, like, even more arrows! <laughs> the Yorks were able to actually run forward and grab the Lancaster arrows that missed and then fire them back. <laughs> Thanks. They'd be like picking up like Killed bullets. The, <laughs> dude, the Lancasters sound like fucking bumbling idiots over here. Like, <laughs> it's like playing Benny Hill music. Like, do, 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 do. like slipping on, are they slipping on fucking banana peels and shit too? <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> Hope our arrows were just shooting back. Getting like a paint bucket stuck on their foot. <laughs> like falling over. <laughs> falling down a mountain. Somebody like knocks like cannon, you know, fuse and that blows <laughs> open a whole other like ship an elephant they have for some the reason. fleet, you know, or whatever. <laughs> I don't know. And as the story goes. The fleet they have at the top of the mountain. <laughs> it goes that far. Hey man, this is their bad luck. <laughs> no. Oh, these bad. guys, like. as, and as the story goes, la or York laughter could be heard in the wind. <laughs> <laughs> as your arrows are being tossed back at you, you just hear laughter coming with them. You just hear that, like oh. English. That fuck it. And two, we're talking like we're talking so, like these are soldiers. These are like your. You're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, these are not like, you know, classy oh, men here. Oh, oh, these are, these are <laughs> I uh, died up there. <laughs> <laughs> Lose a lot of blood, did ya? <laughs> <laughs> Got lots of arrows in you, boy. So the Lancasters ah, ah. charge. <laughs> they, they weren't going to take it anymore, so they just charged. <laughs> we're not going <laughs> to yeah. take it. And I'm sure as they were going downhill, some of them tripped and fell. <laughs> Probably lit a cannon or two. More Yorksmen just start cackling up at that. They're just like tripping down the hills, just getting filled with arrows. And just a little fall, did ya? <laughs> Be a shame if a I kill you. A little tumble. And when the two armies met, you was... cunt. <laughs> oh wait, <laughs> <laughs> you daft cunt. <laughs> All right, it was back then we could say it. The two armies clashed. It was it was going clash of the armies. <laughs> It was going back and forth for a little bit, but then Edward's forces started to get pushed back until uh -oh. he had two reserves come up <laughs> yeah, from yeah. the flank. Sounds like the Yorks. And decimated. <laughs> they always have like two armies <laughs> hanging around. Lancasters. Yeah. It is the bloodiest battle on British soil. 20,000 Lancasters died and 10,000 Yorks died. 
a tornado wow. started and arrows are just raining from the sky. <laughs> the, the, I do have. I, I couldn't find <laughs> a out. Tornado of arrows. <laughs> yeah. The weather changed and then thus the tide. When of it battle. says <clears throat> British soil, does it mean like just the the island or like all over their territory? I yeah, don't know. British colonies too. Yeah. That's what you mean. Yeah. Like territory. It was like probably, throughout like, history. It was probably that's like what this, the these, soil are purporting that is is the bloodiest battle. Because there were some pretty big battles that happened that the Brits were involved in <laughs> throughout <laughs> the years. <laughs> Yes. Brits been spilling blood all over this earth. Yeah, British blood. You don't mess with the Brits. So after that, they'll die on your soil, <laughs> <laughs> cover with blood, ruin the the economy. <laughs> yeah, it might be their own blood, but they're spilling blood. <laughs> so after the victory, Edward goes to London and crowns himself king. Edward takes London. He's Edward. Edward the Fourth, a young chap, rolled Eddie. into London. And next thing he knew, he was king. <laughs> Eddie, a King Edward's day off. King Eddie, and Henry, <laughs> Henry and Margaret decide to go to Scotland. And just get out of Britain altogether. Because with Edward being king, like their heads are on the chopping block. As soon <laughs> Quite as literally. Caught. Hey, come over <laughs> here, this chopping block, eh? <laughs> I, I think I'll stay over here. No, just like petting it. They're literally <laughs> contemplating their departure on the chopping block. <laughs> They're like, maybe we should leave. <laughs> And, but but while in Scotland, Margaret started putting out feelers to the Duke of Somerset, a good friend of hers. And the Henry's. Duke of Somerset? <laughs> he makes another appearance. <laughs> Remember me? <laughs> <laughs> and the cheeky Duke of Somerset. <laughs> no one expects the Duke of Somerset. <laughs> <laughs> and the, the Percy family uh, to begin revolting again. So they do. They start l- little revolts again. Oh, it's been a while since we revolted. <laughs> it's like, oh, you need a revolt. You not need a revolt. <laughs> and so Edward sends uh, Richard Warwick up north again. And Warwick. They murder everyone. Like Percy's all die. The Duke. The Duke's dead. They killed the Duke of Somerset. No, the an, Duke. He of- has a son. He has a son, but. This current Duke of the Somerset. Son is dead. of the Duke of Somerset. <laughs> little Duke. <laughs> and so after we little Duke the Somerset. Battle of Hexham, Henry starts just going from house to house hiding. All over Britain. Yeah. Where's he's just like, ball? they open the door. He's like behind the door and he just like sneaks out. <laughs> he's where, hiding in rafters. He's hiding under floors. He's this like, is where roof. Benny Hill got his inspiration. Clearly he was British. So, and then he finally got caught when he stepped in a paint and bucket. <laughs> Margaret, <laughs> Margaret and her son, Edward go to France where they're sheltered by the uh, French, Louis the 11th, <laughs> Louis the 11th, Louis. 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 Hey. So in, in 1465, <laughs> Henry is captured again. God, Henry. <laughs> Either you're losing your mind or you're getting captured. Just die already. <laughs> like, why does that somebody kill the son of Because they, they felt like they, there was no reason to kill him because Edward was king. And everyone actually <laughs> liked Edward being king. <laughs> like, everyone was cool with it. Even though Lancasters were like, all right, well, he did fucking just decimate them. Yeah. I'm like, like, yeah, I'm like, they had to like it because they're dead. <laughs> and there's like no one left. <laughs> He's like looking around the battlefield. There's like two guys are like, well, I guess we got no choice now. <laughs> Stop laughing at us, please. <laughs> and we'll follow you. <laughs> it's just like, all right, guys, can you stop ribbing us? Have some friends, did you? <laughs> <laughs> it looks like you all your friends are dead. <laughs> and so surrender and like one guy actually shoots an arrow like, sorry, I was aiming. <laughs> it's like, damn it. We have one Lancaster left. <laughs> so things start to, to settle down a little bit. Henry's in Edward's power in London. All up in his power. Margaret's gone. Wait. No, yeah, how did Henry said, get back out of being s- captured? Uh, yeah. Well, that, that, that was the, what my phrase meant. In Edward's power, like he was, uh, he was his captive. Oh, uh, so Edward I was just captive. being a, f- I was just being fancy with my words. Mm. Oh, so Edward captured a lyricist over here. He's, he's being held by Edward at this time. In uh, Jason, the loquation. Gotcha. <laughs> Things are settling down. Uh, Richard of Warwick, though, is looking around. He's the second wealthiest man in Britain at the at the time because Richie Rich, <laughs> War Rich. 
because he's just been getting accolades. He's been getting lands. Goddamn, Lancaster lands <laughs> left and right. And then the Targaryen showed people. up. <laughs> <laughs> they came upon dragons. <laughs> And so he doesn't want any of that to go away. So he wants to stay in the king's good favor. So he decides to take it upon himself to be an envoy to Louis XI of France. Louis! And try and broker a peace deal with France. Between France and Britain. Oh, wow. Look at that. This guy's got big plans. Grabbing the bull by the horns here. Grabbing the Louis. But uh, Warwick offered Louis XI that Edward, King of Britain, would marry Louis's daughter, Anne. Then it came out that two years prior, Edward had already married someone. <laughs> Uh-oh. Of lower nobility. <gasps> Gasp. Bro. And when Pardon Warwick, me while I clutch my pearls. <laughs> and when Warwick found that out, it was like, well, I just fucking wasted my goddamn fucking time for no goddamn reason. I'm in France for fuck's sake. <laughs> there was a lightning crash <laughs> and he found out. I would have, if, if I was Richard, Clint. I would have just bought everything at that point. <laughs> and then I'm also France. found out bought the kings. Yeah, but. that Edward had. How much for France? <laughs> Edward had actually also been brokering peace deals with the king of Burgundy, mm. who was not on good terms with what the color king they of wore. France. So Warwick's trip was doubly fucked from the get-go. God. It's like double mint gum, but it's double fuck. <laughs> <laughs> double fuck gum. So then he goes, <laughs> he goes back goes, goes back to Britain. He's like, God damn it. <laughs> leaves court. <laughs> tried to broker peace, and all I got was this shitty-ass gum. <laughs> <laughs> he leaves court, and then he just starts plotting. Just Uh-oh. Oh, God. By Get candlelight. He is a man. I'm <laughs> so fucking with chewing his gum maddenly. <laughs> so in 1469, <laughs> work sparked off little revolts in the north of Britain. Just a few wee little revolts. <laughs> Just funded some revolts. So some Edward revolt, takes eh? his forces north, but realizes he's outnumbered. <laughs> so he holds back. Warwick <laughs> waits for a storm. <laughs> Gets Edward's brother, George, to betray Edward. Hey, Georgie. And then they take London while Edward's out dealing with the revolts up north. Oh, my God. Those bastards. Gas. Treachery. And they free Henry and proclaim him king. Should make a the movie rightful about king. This. But, but everybody liked Edward, except for Richard, because Richard pissed at Edward. God, drama. I swear. Exactly. What about George? That's, that's George. exactly right, David. And that's why London revolted. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Well, I know my people. London call it the Clash. That's where they were formed. <laughs> kick, kick them out. Clash refers to the two families. Clash. Rare, yes. London calling is about the Duke of Somerset. Now. <laughs> so Warwick leaves London. He gets out of out of Dodge. Uh, tries to regain forces. <laughs> he just leaves. But so so they revolt. So he just jets. He's like, "Fuck yeah. this! I'm out of here. I'm not. My head's gonna be on a bike. <laughs> yeah. I don't leave on the chopping Bundit board." Burning. <laughs> <laughs> so he gets out. Tries to garner some more support. Uh, those those supporters get fucking murdered. So then he goes to France. <laughs> He's like, "Yeah, I'm just gonna get out of here. I was still <laughs> still over here." So now he's back in France. Back in France. <laughs> it's like, the fuck? I gotta get back here. Like triple fucked. God damn it, I'm in fucking France. Dude, see, now this is a serious... This is a serious thing that happened here. He did it to himself. <laughs> like, he goes back. He's just pissed off at Edward. And then see what happens when you betray your friends? They have London angry at you. So then, while in France, he meets uh, one Margaret of Anjou. <laughs> and they start hanging out a little bit. Some light over the clothes, making out. <laughs> Heavy petting. <laughs> Anjou. <laughs> uh, and then they join forces. Yeah, matter of speaking. So then Warwick goes back to London, or England. Freshly he laid. Meets up with his brother, his brother George, not Edward's brother George. <laughs> hey, Georgie. There's George's Richards or James. That's British names for you. Couple Henrys. So then they want to restore Henry again. They succeed in taking London once more. Edward Ugh. 
Now Edward gets the fuck out of Dodge. And he goes to Burgundy because he was talking to the king of Burgundy. He's like, hey, so we're we're cool, right? So he just goes and hangs out over there. King Ron. <laughs> After a little while, he starts, Edward starts coming back and heading to the north of Britain. I'm the where king his, of Burgundy? His family home is York. Mm-hmm. So, and he says, hey, you know, Henry's king. I'm just heading home. That's all I'm doing. <laughs> and on, me. on his way back, all of York's supporters started going that way too. <laughs> Including his brother George. And they reconciled. You know that time I tried to instate a coup and when you were gone from the throne? Gave each other like the manly handshake slash hug. <laughs> Back and slap. Then, <laughs> and then their other brother Richard was there also. And he was always a... That's got to be confusing. Yeah. <laughs> Richard was the third son of Richard of York. It's like, I fucking hate Richard. Wait, not you, Richard. So Yo, okay, <laughs> Richard. Okay. Richard sucks. That Richard, I hate that Richard. I don't know why they turned into New Yorkers. Because they're from York. That's yeah, why. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> New Yorkers. That's why all the kings have been like Italian mobsters. <laughs> <our impressions. Yeah. laughs> hey, Georgie. <laughs> We're hey, from Ju- York. <laughs> hey, Georgie. Hey, Louis. We're from your orc. Edward starts moving south towards London. Of, of course. Warwick is. is out gathering. We're going support. back. <laughs> he can't be in an engagement right now. He's too weak. So he just sort of hangs out. Uh, biding his time. Biding his time. Plotting. Gathering support. Plotting. And the then, device. of course, London loves Edward. <laughs> so they welcome him the back great with open return. Arms. Yeah. I bet it was like. Then, then Lizzie starts playing. <laughs> the bull is back in town. Like that scene from uh, A Knight's Tale. <laughs> <laughs> exactly like that. Exactly like that. Uh, and Henry is captured again. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Henry. The boys are back what? in jail. <laughs> <laughs> what, else, what else is new? Tell me something I don't know. They're like on some parade float in the back. You just see him just getting like like nabbed off. <laughs> Henry's got to hold a record somewhere for like most times captured without like being killed. Like you usually people. At least in that area. There's probably some guy who like escaped from like Alcatraz or something. <laughs> got thrown in jail a bunch. That's here. Neither here nor there. <laughs> and while all that's going on, Margaret lands with some French forces. On Britain as well. <gasps> she landed with all of them. Margaret. And then starts moving up through Wales, gathering Lancaster Just support, wailing. heading towards her friend, Jasper Tudor. <laughs> Sounds like a fella. <laughs> Sounds like a, a heck of a guy. Jasper Tudor and the Duke of Somerset on a whirlwind adventure. <laughs> and so Edward sweeps in from the east to sort of cut Margaret off as she's heading north. Before she can meet with her full forces Mm. in Jasper Tudor. And at the Battle of Tewkesbury in 1471. Tewkesbury. Margaret is captured. Much blood was spilled at Tewkesbury. Thank God. So now she's captured. Yeah. And her son Edward dies at 17 on the battlefield. The only heir apparent to die during battle. In British history. The rest of them died of dysentery. Everyone else would just die of dysentery or something. <laughs> wow. That's, Tewksbury. That's, that is interesting. Tewksbury. <laughs> that is interesting, though, because uh, dysentery sucks. So, uh, but, <laughs> the history uh, of dysentery. <laughs> so, our, I guess, but Henry's captured still, right? Yes, Henry's he is still, still in London. Yes. So, do they get Margaret and while, Henry? While Edward is dealing with Margaret, the... Duke of Warwick's brother attacks London. So Richard's brother? Yes. Attacks London. John. John. <laughs> now we have a new a new John cat. Neville. John Neville has a- been introduced. Attacks London. Wow. Ballsy. But what is London? They love Edward. <laughs> so they actually send messengers to him. <laughs> Saying they're under attack. <laughs> and he comes roaring back. Oh, yeah, he does. Takes them dragon. out. Dragon. And they kill Henry. <laughs> they're like, okay, let's just fucking so do finally. it. So <laughs> finally. Let's just. Thank God. Let's just do this now. Hey, Been Henry. waiting for this. This hey, is buddy. like. And then the revolts just die out. It's like, maybe if you would have done that like 
10, er, that, 10 years ago. Th- that's what I've been saying the whole time. Like, why? How has he been kept alive? Because you were saying, oh, it's like, well, Edwards, he's king now. It doesn't matter. It's just like, no, it does. He's alive. And, it, and he has like. He's a, alive. A little, I as long as he has. <laughs> as long as he breathes, claim. he has support. Yeah. And he's got a, cl- a little illegitimate claim, but he's still got like a claim cop. that people believe in. And so Henry like, was get rid of him. Dispatch this motherfucker. Sorry. Continue. Fucked up. Yeah, not to mention he was just going in and out. That too. Like, this guy's insane. How is this? When they went to kill him, he probably had like a diaper on his head. He's like running around his jail cell. And they're like, yeah, let's just like leave him in the middle of a field somewhere. They probably didn't kill him, but he just fell backwards and got his foot <laughs> stuck in a bucket. Yeah. And he like fell into a toilet and drowned. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So with That's the, the de- story of the Lancasters right there. Yeah, with the death of Henry VI, the Lancaster line died wiped out boom right there see and there there we go and now you can sense the story coming to a close but well, it also Last makes sense caster. to kill him now because his son's dead also yeah if, if they would have killed him before his son then the son would have just been the new heir yeah that's true slash king that's true i'll show up hey henry sorry for like keeping you locked up you're gonna die most of your life and he's, he's gonna kill he's you like now. pigeon Goose, <laughs> he's just like, <laughs> shouting random shit in the corner, <laughs> smearing crap on his face. <laughs> like, all right, let's continue. Maybe he really is still alive to this day, and only dead in soul and spirit. And so, <laughs> Edward was trying to consolidate things, and mm-hmm. he found consolidation a new Lancaster heir Ugh. through distant marriages. Like there was a delegitimized oh, son went deep. that got legitimized and then married someone else and then popped out some kids. And now we have the Tudors. Jasper Tudor, his nephew, Henry, is the heir now. So Henry gets the fuck out of Britain. <laughs> Wants to go to France. Uh, but the damn channels were uh, not cooperating and he landed in Brittany where they just kept him. <laughs> We're just gonna keep you. Yeah, you're just ours now. You're ours. <laughs> Welcome to the family. <laughs> <laughs> you're a Brittany now. <laughs> yeah. It's all a bunch of ugly women named Brittany. And so from 1471 to 1482, relative peace with Edward the Fourth, reigning king in Britain. Every once in a while, he would send a message to the king of Brittany. Though he's like, "Hey, you want to give me? You want to give me Henry Tudor?" Huh? No? 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 Huh? The uh, King of Britain. You mean Henry saying, yeah, Brittany? No, not really. Not really. <laughs> King Brittany was like, nah, son. <laughs> not happening. He's this my son now. <laughs> yeah. I uh, think he quite likes it here. <laughs> Isn't that right? <laughs> <laughs> right. Say you like it. <laughs> you I love like it. it. <laughs> you love Brittany. <laughs> but in 1483, Edward suddenly dies. <gasps> no. The man of what? Beloved by the people. Uh, they don't know. It could have been poison. Treachery <laughs> is <Wow>. afoot. <laughs> they don't know? Yes, it could have been poison. Edward's son, Edward, is now king. <laughs> Edward V. Eh, close enough. <laughs> we don't have to change anything. This is With king his Edward. uncle Richard, Edward's brother. Yeah, Richie. Being regent until Edward V comes of age. Gotcha. So how old is Edward V currently? He's 10. 10. Okay. Mm. So they get to London and Richard's like, uh, actually, this is the offspring of a lower nobility. Doesn't count. Threw that kid in jail <laughs> and took the crown for himself, proclaiming himself Richard III. <laughs> so Richard did that. Yes. His brother just does that to his nephew. Uh, and this is after... They, uh, Edward you should, never should have trusted this. This guy's a snake. Exactly. Like the brother <laughs> that betrayed him before George rich or Edward had killed a couple years prior to his death. And then Richard after Edward's death is the one who betrays him. Ugh. Yeah. That's Fine. right. Royalty. Oy. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> that's all you could say. I'm- Wait, you're right. Because the, the one brother, George. Yeah, that betrayed him. Yeah, he already killed. He reconciled with him too, and then there were whispers. He had his fingers crossed when they hugged. So Edward's like, "We'll kill him. He betrayed me once. He'll do it again. So kill him." Yeah, he's smart. And then he dies, and then his other brother, the good brother, stuck by him throughout the fucking the whole of it. That's right. That's what I was saying. Kicks his kid into a fucking jail cell. (laughs) 
<laughs> insanity. That was a twist. <laughs> and so... Turns out he was the king the whole time. <laughs> One of those movies. Elizabeth <laughs> Woodsville, <laughs> Edward's wife, now widow, doesn't like that at all. Yeah, I could so, imagine so. I doth protest. <laughs> so she allies herself with Henry Tudor. <gasps> Who proclaimed in 1484 that he would have liked to marry Elizabeth of York, Edward's daughter, to unite the families. And everyone fucking loved that. Everyone was like, yeah, marriage. Hey, we haven't seen one of those in a while. And this came on the spurs of a rumor that Richard, whose wife had just passed, was going to marry his niece to take her away from Henry. Hmm. So then Henry. No one's marrying her but me. (laughs) Right? It's crazy. Fucking crazy. So Henry tries to sail to Britain, but the channel doesn't cooperate. <laughs> and it ends up in Britain. And sends him back to Britain. <laughs> <laughs> and the K- King Brittany's like, hey, you back to me, I see. Look who's come crawling back. <laughs> who's come crawling back. Uh, but the King of Brittany dies. And his council's like, hey, we could use the money. So they actually want to ship Henry off to Richard. But then he sneaks away and gets into France, allies with Charles the, the, the channel seventh. finally cooperated. <laughs> he just swam. He's like, these boats aren't working. <laughs> no, he got French boats and those worked. So he <laughs> made his way up oh. <laughs> to Britain, finally, after about seven years. And in 1485, at the Battle of Bosworth, the York and Lan- uh, Lancaster forces... <laughs> Collided for the last time, and Richard III died in battle. And Henry was proclaimed Henry the Seventh, first house of Tudor, King of Britain. Wow! And thus ended the War of the Roses. Ah, oh, that's so crazy, man. That's wild. Right? You should make a movie about and it. And this, and their dynasty lasted for I want to until there's Elizabeth, a show Elizabeth the First. I know. So over about 103 years. Wow. Okay. That's a while. They had five, three kings and two queens, I think. They did all right. The Tudors, man, went out in the end. That was so cool. And Henry the Seventh's son, Henry the Eighth. We all know what he did. We all know what he did. We'll get Change the later. goddamn game. <laughs> Wait, you're saying I could get a divorce? <laughs> anyway. So that's that, folks. That's the War of the Roses. Part do. <laughs> Part <Yeah>. dose. <laughs> it was a long one. Yeah, it's a, it's a long story, but it's definitely... Full this, of intrigue. But there's, there's these twists and turns. And clearly the Lancasters the are dumb. <laughs> They're, the land clusters. The Lancasters are clowns. Uh, clowns. Land clowns. <laughs> Land clownsters. Now, that's the end. That's the end of this. The War of the Roses. The end of everything. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, War of Roses. But that's yeah. fun. So, uh, see, at least we didn't have that in America. We just had a good old civil war, like once. Guess we really didn't find like a hole, like a. There was a, a lot of holes. Well, really. It, it, Arrow it, holes. It just goes to nepotism. Because if Edward III never would have made his sons dukes in his own country, this never would have happened. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there you go. Bringing it back. Whole. Bringing it back to the first episode. All right, folks. That's it for this week. But we will see you next week with more historical Warwick. 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 <laughs>